It's time for local stories from across the East. Local food. Local fashion. Local businesses. This is your home for local. This is the East's Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina CW. Hello and welcome to the East Daily Download. My name is Mark. I'll be your tour guide in this adventure across the East. And I'm joined today by Lauren. Ahoy, mateys. Ahoy. And today we are on location again. Tell everybody where. Cadman Jack's Mini Golf. You're really trying to mess my shot up here, aren't We're you? We're in Greenville on location, playing the rest of this week. Oh, oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. Her first ball did not go we'll see according what happens to plan. Here. Why don't you Hold take on. another shot there, Slugger? All right. Oh, okay. Oh, Boop. in and out. Mm. Well, it's that's right. a tough one. That's a tough one. It I'm is. Gonna, you're you're, you're about to find out how tough. Come on. Okay, so Batter anyway, uh, quick reminder to everybody, you can get this show at WNCT.com under the download tab. Also, the Facebook, uh, we are on Facebook and we're on Instagram. And the download, East Daily Download is the uh, hashtag to use. Also, you can get the WNCT mobile app. It's true, and watch on the go. And you could come here to Captain Jack's Mini Golf and watch this show while playing around. That would be incredible, wouldn't it? Send us that video if you do that, by the way. Okay. And, uh... Ooh. Nice shot. Uh, but it did not go in. So no. That's okay. We'll be back here in a little bit on the East Daily Download. Until then, hang tight. Now downloading Weather Kids. History books are filled with accounts of the first manned mission to reach the lunar surface. Apollo 11 captured the world's imagination in 1969, but it wasn't the only mission to the moon. NASA launched several manned missions from 1969 to 1972. The final mission, Apollo 17, delivered truly stunning images from the surface of the moon, as well as a fresh perspective of our own planet. It was one of the few missions in which man cruised the lunar surface on wheels. The extra mobility led to the largest lunar sampling of any mission and increased our knowledge of space travel. The Apollo 17 mission also holds the record for the longest time spent on the lunar surface at just over three days. Even as NASA looks to expand our space travels to the planet Mars in the future, these new missions would not be possible without the successes of the Apollo series flights years ago. From the WNCT Not On Your Side First Alert Weather School, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jerry Jackson, class dismissed. Parents look at this and they see the kids on television. They think, oh, I would love to have my kid, but I'm a little bit scared to bring them on TV. When we shoot weather kids, it's not live. We don't put them in a high pressure environment. It doesn't matter what their skill set is. We will guide them. We will show them where to stand. If they mess up, we've got plenty of time. We can do it over. We take our time to make them feel comfortable and to get it done right. If your child is interested in being on Weather Kids, email Jerry at jjackson at wnct.com. This is Bernie Ritter. I'm the news director at uh, WNCT in Greenville, North Carolina. We're here in our new w uh, WNCT digital studio. We want to be able to give you information, news and information now. Not waiting for five, no six. We'll have things like you know, Delisa Robles, who does our Spanish uh, speaking news segment, afternoon news updates, special reports, breaking news can come out of this, no, come out of this room, because we're not like doing conventional broadcasts. This is where our news has been going for a long time, what we're calling WNCT now. Now downloading Wacky Wednesday. This is Dude. D Block. D Block, take one. Um, so, anyway, we'll be back here tomorrow and. What? You're taking too long. Come on, you're welcome. How to do, how to do, how to do. Uh, you hit Bryce's side. You, I can't believe you. Ahoy, and welcome back to Captain Jack's Mini Golf here on the East Daily Download. My name is Mark, and it's weird not to do the normal opening, but she insisted, and she's just hitting. We're playing uh, mini golf. Oh, she didn't get a hole in one this Not time. Not that time. Hello and welcome to the East Daily Download. Wait, My name wait, is wait. Mar move no. over, move oh. over. Don't you mean ahoy and welcome to the East Daily Download, mateys? Play it through. What? John! Not very well. Not really. <laughs> well, alright, that does it for today. He didn't make it all the way around. 
Our nation's capital, decisions are made here that affect all of us. And today, more than ever, people want truth, understanding, and accountability. So join us every evening as we bring you CBS News original reporting from around the world, while keeping our eye on what's going on right here in Washington. And bringing you the latest news and weather across the East. The CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell from Washington, D.C. After WNCT 9 in your side news. We are back here on the East Daily Download. Where are we again? Cabin Jack's Mini Golf. On location in Greenville, having a great time, being out of the elements, being inside, playing a friendly round of mini golf. It's true. I think we're about evenly matched now. I had you in the beginning, but you made a comeback. We are at uh, hole five now, so we've played a few holes, and it's pretty much even, like she said. Um, so we're going to play another hole and uh, then we will rejoin you a little bit later and still to come not today maybe not even tomorrow but by the end of the week we're going to go sample their homemade pizza oh yes and they got their oven all the way from Italy it's a stone oven so this pizza I'm really excited for you to buy legit. me this pizza this place is <laughs> Well, somebody's fine. We'll see who it is. Uh, this place is legit, so Captain Jack's Mini Golf. And where is it located? It's off of 10th Street. It's on 10th Street, yeah. yep. Yeah. Um, so we're going to keep playing, and we'll see you in a little bit here on the East Daily Download. Check out this next story, and we'll be right back. Since 1959, the Jack Emiet Recreation Center has served kids like Terrell Clark and Tavian Golak. I like to play basketball, you know, I get to play with a lot of people, you know, run games. You can catch them on a court playing basketball every day. It brings everybody together, we be hooping and stuff, making memories. But for more than a year, Clark and Golak have been hooping it up outside of the recreation center. I mean, it got damaged by the hurricane, so we wouldn't know other place to play, except for outside. Hurricane Florence forced Jacksonville Recreation and Parks to close off the indoor gym. Most of the damage was on the roof structure of the gymnasium. So it was compromised, it lifted up, the ceiling peeled back, and ultimately it's been raining in there ever since. Leaving people like Clark and Golak no choice but to play outside. Uh, it was like home to me because I used to come here on the weekends, and on the weekdays. An advisory committee is looking to revamp the facility. The panel is recommending a new full-size gym and basketball court for the center. I think it's very important to have a gym because that's the only way you're going to get better. The recommendation will go before a city council workshop. The decision leaders make will affect the future of the Jack Emmett Center and may let Clark and Golak make their shots indoors once more. We often talk about uh, winter in eastern North Carolina. Sometimes you never know what you're going to get. We can range from severe weather to snow. So we are always watching. That's the first thing I do when I wake up every morning as I check all the models to see what could be coming our way in the next few days. So one way or another, we're going to do always our best to keep you informed on air, online, and of course on our mobile device too. Make sure you download that WNCT 9 on your side. First alert mobile weather app. That's the best way to stay on top of winter. Do you each have like a favorite hole out on the course? Or they, they, are there one or two, is there like a hole that you look at and go, oh, why do we do that one? Or the hole where you're like, I, I want, I want to be on this because you were, you've been given tips when we were out here playing a game, saying, hey, this is how you do this one, this, and they're good tips because you clearly designed it so you know the way to get to it. So, I mean, are there holes that you really look forward to, or when you? Eh. We rarely get to play it, but when we do. Jack's a great golfer, by the way. Okay. So, you know, he, he typically will beat me throughout the course. And then um, I know I can always catch him on 18. That's his nemesis. So, so that's a trick hole to get it up this little chute and through a cannon yeah. and land out onto another room. Um, so I can count on that hole to beat him. In fact, I'm the person who set par for this course oh. because that hole killed him. <laughs> I'm curious, 
So in, in the time you've been open, is there something that has changed in regards to what you really liked about this place when it first opened compared to now? Do you have a, like a favorite thing about not just the course, but the building and just the experience of owning this place? I, you know, honestly, I, I think for both of us, um, it's, it really is the feeling that we get when uh, families come in and they play together yeah. and the cell phones are gone. It's a friendly competition. We hear the family talking to each other. They're what a laughing. Novel idea, right? I hate to say yeah. it, but sort of that, yeah. you know, so that really We're helps. Talking to the kids up at the bar when yeah. they get finished. Yeah. I love, to, I mean, that's, yeah. that's it. That's the yeah. ticket. So <laughs> that bring that, that gives us a warm heart every time that we step foot into this place. Hey, we're back here on the East Daily Download, coming to you today from Captain Jack's Mini Golf in Greenville, North Carolina. We're on location. It's having a we're having a great time out here. We're playing a very friendly game of mini golf. Uh, the true. purple and the gold ball. The I'm colors winning again. Being, I mean, that's a relative term, winning. What does that even mean? It means that I have less points than you because of golf. <laughs> you were very, you almost said more. Um, so anyway, we're going to finish this game up and then the loser <coughs> will buy the winner a pizza uh, because they make their pizza fresh here, which is awesome and we're excited okay. about that. It's a little early in the morning for pizza, but you can come out with your friends and your family in the evening, have a friendly game of golf and get a pizza in the evening. They've got ice cream, they've got all kinds of stuff. Party room, I mean, I, they do parties and all that kind of stuff. So uh, what else? Well, let's get back to it. My, my ball is closer okay, to well, the hall. Okay, well, finish so. it up then there, Slick. All right, well, scoot, scoot. We'll be back on the East Daily Download. You know, you prepare for the inevitable, but it's still difficult to accept when things actually change. Yeah. Makes you wish you could go back in time and make sure you made the right choices. Yeah, this has been my life for 14, 15 years, and it's like, what, what now? <laughs> it's just this, this feeling of intense gratitude and love for the people that I've been able to work with for this amount of time. I've been on the show as long as if I would have started as a kindergarten student and finished as a senior in high school. That's a big chunk of one's life. I was just talking to myself in my trail like, God, I'm gonna miss this cast. I'm going to miss knowing that I'm going to come to work and have a great day. It's changed my life entirely. I didn't think I was going to be able to do what I what I dreamed about doing and show up as myself. This show just has a tremendous, you know, following. It's, it's been really incredible to see that. That's the thing I'm going to miss. Appreciate you taking the time, Captain Page. Oh, sir, no problem at all. And I can tell you, the Baltimore County Sheriff's Department will do whatever it can to help you catch the chameleon. What? Season 15 starts with a bad guy that we first encountered in season 14. Who we've labeled a chameleon. And this is one time where Rossi, my character, kind of has to, almost has to doubt himself a little bit. He's smart and he's incredibly evil and sinister and he's become a point of obsession for Rossi in particular. So what triggers this guy? Or who? To me, storytelling is like all I've ever wanted to do, whether it's as an actor or a director or a, a writer. And so to get to tell stories that not only appeal to like the people in your general area, but to the entire world is like the greatest honor and I could never hope for anything better. Entertainment tonight. That's what people want. It's hard to think of entertainment tonight without. Oh, I know it. I mean, come on. Since I was a little kid. This is entertainment tonight. This is the Bible of show business. My 
From teacher appreciation gifts to presents for a party, we've all rushed out last minute to grab something to give. But the couponing site southernsavers.com says creating a gift closet will help stop that and start saving you money. Here's how it works. Think about the occasions in which you typically need gifts. Then stock up during sales or a clearance. For instance, thank you presents for teachers. If there's a deal on gift cards, coffee, or other small items, think about buying them and setting them aside for the end of the year. Do the same for birthday parties. When you find a toy on sale and think it could make a great present, go ahead and get it. Southern Saver says January is a great time to find deals on toys. You can also stock up on gifts for graduation, housewarming, baby showers, and presents for your own children. The website says buying now will help you save later. For today's Consumer Watch, I'm Mandy Gaither. Hi, I'm Dalisa Robles, the social media manager at WNCT. WNCT now was born because Digital is growing big and even bigger like every single day. So we want to keep up to date with every like social media tools and whatnot. And we want to have more visual content for the audience. So we created WNCT now to produce live streams, podcasts, and even a breaking newsroom. WNCT now is not only broadcast, it's more than that. Philip Thomas builds websites for companies across the nation. He works as a front-end engineer, which according to the job rating firm Glassdoor, is the top job in America for 2020. It's based on job satisfaction, salary, and job openings. It's rewarding because you get to build things that people use every day. Last year, tech jobs were just five of the top ten. This year, for the first time ever, the top seven jobs are in tech fields, including data scientist and software engineer. Every company is a technology company in this day and age. So we're going to continue to see technology jobs reign at the top of the best jobs list. The highest non-tech job on the list is a speech pathologist, coming in at number eight. Overall, the survey finds many healthcare jobs in the top 50. There's always going to be a demand for people looking for medical attention. But Glassdoor expects tech jobs will continue to grab the top slots in the years to come. Thomas says rightly so. It has great pay and you have location flexibility, time flexibility, and because it's such an in-demand job, people get treated really well in the industry. At last check, Glassdoor says there are over 13,000 openings for front-end engineers nationwide. Hillary Lane, CBS News, New York. In the winter's chill or summer's heat, a farmer works so the world can eat. Thank a farmer today. Send your thank you letters and videos to caring at WNCT.com. Hey everyone, how's it going? Angie Casada here bringing you Q&A with AQ where you, the viewers, are sending in these amazing questions coming into the new year and I get to answer them. So let's get right to it. The first question, what do you think of weather here in Eastern North Carolina in January? Well. Thanks to Jerry Jackson, I'm always up to date with what's going on. And my personal opinion, uh, we've had some showers, we've had some warm temperatures that has created humidity. And for someone who has curly hair, it's not that fun when you gotta have your hair straight every day. So it's been a little struggle. So now that we're kind of going into a, a cold front coming up and we're getting some colder temperatures, I'm super excited about that because uh, it's gonna be some great hair days out there. So that's gonna be awesome. What do you like to do for fun when it's cold outside? Um, honestly, I don't really like to do anything when it's cold outside. I like to actually be inside, love Netflix and Hulu, love making, I'm so cheesy, I like making a hot cocoa, maybe some hot coffee and just kind of sitting there watching some good shows and staying inside, but I like the cold temperatures, you know? Um, do you wish it snowed more here? So I learned how to drive in Florida, and when it snowed here about two years ago, 
I was driving five miles per hour with my emergency lights on. So uh, I don't really know about all the extra snow. It's pretty to look at as long as it melts. That's when I'm happy. So the whole driving conditions, I don't know if I'm a fan of that. So yeah, I like the, the weather here in Eastern North Carolina. Shout out to Jerry Jackson. Well, that's all we have right now. But again, if you have any questions, please email download at WNCT.com for Q&A with AQ. I'll see you next time. Angie Casada, East Daily Download. What are online originals? Local stories. A grant is allowing Duplin County to continue helping senior citizens. Local documentaries. Here today at the Ronald McDonald House of Eastern North Carolina. They've just finished their expansion. Special features. I certainly need some help with my skills on archery. Behind the scenes. From tap rooms to retail to fitness. Everything you need at your fingertips. WNCT.com online originals. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the East Daily Download. The uh, game of mini golf here at Captain Jack's in Greenville continues. I'm trying to get my last putt in. It's, it's, it's more intense than it looks. It's only like maybe a foot, but every, everything matters right now because whoever loses pays for the pizza that they make here. So I'm trying to make sure that we ensure that does not happen. Um, so anyway, we'll be back here tomorrow and what? You're taking too long. Come on. You're welcome. We'll see you tomorrow on the East Daily Download. Don't forget you can get the show at the WNCT mobile app and on WNCT.com under the Download tab. We'll see you tomorrow on the East Daily Download. Bye-bye. Thursday, when we hit the road on the next edition of the East Daily Download, we stop by Great Outdoor Provisions for some clothing advice. We go behind the scenes of the hit movie Bad Boys for Life. And we introduce you to this week's child in search of a loving home. It's all happening Thursday on the East Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina CW.